Uh, a number of months ago, Adelaide City Council were interested in uh, doing a recycling program in the East End, uh, particularly, I suppose, the challenges attached to um, having recycling in uh, apartment buildings. We manage quite a number of properties, so we've got direct access to those people to be able to explain the benefits of, of the system. And I suppose it goes back to more of a, a personal belief that we all need to be involved in assisting with what is a, a, a global challenge. And I think people quickly realise through education that um, we need to change our ways and, and we need to find solutions to, to do it. Michael's uh, certainly very passionate and, and really uh, was a strong advocate for the recycling program and I think also from what I understand he, he spent a bit of time doing his own research too on you know what items can be recycled and what can't be. Well according to the council's measurements our success rate for recycling was 15% and I found that an alarming statistic. These things are just so easy to do. It's just a question of making people aware of them. As one would use phrases like a picture's worth a thousand words, I, I would say a demonstration or a site visit is worth a million. So the perfect thing would be actually to go down with someone and, and demonstrate recycling to them and watch what they're doing and give them feedback. That's in an ideal world, of course. Okay. Well, one of the issues is um, two items, two types of material. For many people, how to get that, which is sealed onto them, how to get those two apart. Who is going to bother with it? So I'm always talking about nerds, which is, I think is actually going to become a fashionable thing since the chairman of the US Federal Reserve, Ben Bernanke, said the world needs more nerds. But who is going to really do that at the risk of cutting their hand? I can't ask people to cut that off, but at the moment, again, personal interest, I will cut that away. From the moment they first introduced a plastic collar and cap, which was a wonderful thing for pouring juice and so on, but it straight away to me rose, raised the problem that you're contaminating materials. So again, a super nerd approach was to quickly cut that away. So first we taught, of course, we've got to rinse. Uh, I say it safe one for you. We'll just give it a rinse. Okay. That's rinsing the uh, container. Now some people don't bother with that. I've taken from the recycling bins bottles with stale milk in them. Just bone lazy. Now what about the plastic cap itself? There's two materials there. Didn't take very long to do that, but now we've got pure plastic. Uh, you gave me a suggestion yesterday that you could put maybe that plastic inside there. And, the, and, and I've just done that for the first time in my life. But the only question for me is, is there any contamination of plastic types? So flattening cartons, which is really easy to do. You can stomp on them or just press them by hand. And just very obvious th things like putting cans within cans. I did hear someone talking about making a recycling brick. So, okay, I rose to the challenge and worked out I could get nine, nine separate cartons in there. Having decapped each one, that's plastic cap off. Now, cartons will go down, but you've got to alternate them, have the bottom there and then the top of that one, otherwise they won't go in so well. And all together, that's not quite finished, but that'll take nine cartons and that one makes ten. So what is the difference for recycling? Uh, probably not all that much, but at my end, it means I don't fill my recycle bin so fast. So, that's recycling for you.